I think Mark would like to be added to say a few words probably tonight. Yeah, I, I guess if, if that's if, if, also, be fine. Okay. So we could add him on 9A for the friends. And then Ralph was questioning um, if we need a, but I think we can take care of Marcia's resignation in number 13. Okay. We didn't have enough people. Oh, okay. It was just Rick and I here, so oh, okay. we couldn't accept it. Okay? We tried, but yeah. there weren't enough. Okay. Okay. Ralph was so, riding his bicycle. Okay, so I need a motion then to approve the agenda with the addition of 9A being the friends. So moved. You have a second? Second up. Okay, motion made by Jenny, second by Josh to approve the agenda with the addition of the friends on 9A. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion's carried. Okay. Um, under five, we have unfinished business, the tree belt along 3rd Street Southeast. If we should do mulch or rock, did everybody have a chance to get out there and look at it? Mm -hmm. I did. Yeah. Yeah. Um, mulch is going to be a lot cheaper. Yeah. And maybe our guys could take one of their trucks down wherever the mulch is and pick up the mulch and shovel it in there? Yep. Is that a thought? Yeah. Where, Where are they getting it from? Are we concerned about the angle at that one? Because part of it is a little bit steeper of an angle. Do you think that's going to wash out of there, kind of like it does now? What? Or do you think with once that's in there, it'll be okay? It never did in the beginning. When okay. they first did it, never had no trouble on there. My thought for rock mulch also was that rocks. I can just see some kids out there deciding to pick up yeah. rocks and mm -hmm. throw rocks Shuffle and them. have fun with them. So, what do you think? Everybody agree? Yep. Mulch. mulch. Send our truck down there, pick it up, and have a have our crew do it. Yep. Well, cheaper. but they're going to do. They're going to install the the border around it, right? Mm -hmm. Who's going to do that? That's going to still be. I don't think it had any border. It doesn't have any border now. Okay, we're yeah, not going to yeah. put a border in there. I thought that was what the one of the suggestions was was to put that plastic around there. What that was imagine? probably in that quote of seven or eight thousand dollars, whatever it was. I don't, I don't think we need to if we're doing mulch. Hmm? I don't think we need to worry about that if we're doing mulch. Oh, okay. I wonder if we just try it this way, and if we find out it doesn't work. I don't know anything about mulch. I don't know much. About about I don't know much about mulch. What do you? What do you know about mulch? It's very mulchy. Yeah, I know. Not me either. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay. Um. So, do we need a motion on that? Yep. And we don't have a bid on that, though. Do we need one? Is it be that Probably much? don't need one if you're going to go down and just purchase the mulch with okay. the city truck, and they're going to do the labor, so okay. there's really no... So then, um, do I have a motion? I'll make a motion. To do the mulch? Yep. Second? A second. Okay. Motion made by Rick, second by Josh to do mulch on 3rd Street Southeast. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> Motion's carried. Then, did everyone take a look at the sidewalk and Memorial Park along 2nd Street? And what do you think about that? That would be nice I, to have yeah, one. I think it would be, <laughs> be really nice to have one there. Don't make no difference to me. I think, I think you should have one. <laughs> okay. Okay. So then, um, we don't have a quote on that either? No, but... Um, I know that it runs a four and a half dollars a square foot, and that's about three hundred. You're looking probably like between fifty-five hundred and six thousand dollars to put it to put the block of the sidewalk in. I don't know that for a fact, but just quote, just a quoting of four and a half dollars a square foot and the sidewalk measurements and stuff. That's that's the good. ballpark it would be. I think in. we should. Yeah, I think we should probably get a quote so we have a sell, so we have a figure and we know what we're spending. So we'll put that on the agenda for next time. Okay. Okay, that takes care of unfinished business. We have no public hearings. And then the bid openings for Ground Zero and the Bike Trail. 
and that in front of you. Anybody have any questions on that? Love me, China, because Joel isn't here. Um, the bike trail last year's maintenance, they did just what was marked. <coughs> I don't know why everything, why they couldn't just do a support on whatever needed to be done. Mm -hmm. Would have been my thought, but um, they quoted on just what they played. And uh, we had them come back and take a look again this year, saying that, you know, not a good job. And they said they they have it marked out where they flagged it. They fixed all those holes. Now, I don't know why it wasn't completely flagged for all the spots that were bad. I can't tell you that because that would have been uh, Eric Nelson that was doing right. that at that time. Right. So Joel couldn't even fight the battle with them either because the fact that he was they there. were they were saying it was flagged. So I don't know if you want to do more maintenance on the on the bike trail or not. I have not I have not rode it, so I don't I really know what it's what it's like. I don't know if anybody else has here. Have you? I, I ride it a lot. Yeah. How is it? Does it still need it? It's, it it's rough. Mm -hmm. Is it? Yeah. Okay. So, I think since to we me, need I think the, I think the company should have came back and said, you don't, you're only taking care of maybe half of it. You know, in their professional opinion, they should have said, you're not covering right. all your bases. Mm -hmm. But they didn't. And I um, heard the same thing, but it's not, it wasn't a very good job. Oh, really? Was that this company that did it last night? No. ATA. Right? ATA? Yeah. Whatever it stands for. But they're not taking any liability on it because they fixed what was flagged. I didn't well, know we flagged anything. I guess we anything. can't go back on it, so, you know, it's, do we want to accept? I think it would be nice to do it since we already did do some. Unless you want to put it in the budget for next year. It's but getting late in the season now. I mean, we're halfway through the summer. What's everybody's thought? Put it in the budget for next year. I guess for that price, probably put it in the budget. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fine with okay. that. Yep. Okay. So that'll be something that will be added into the budget then. Here. Okay. Okay. So then, moving on to the consent agenda, are there any questions in regard to that? If not, do I have a motion to approve it? Do you have a second? Aye. Motion is made by Jenny, second by Rick to approve the consent agenda. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion's carried. Okay, then Mark, would you like to speak to that? Uh, thank you for the time. Obviously, since the last meeting, we've, uh, we've been busy trying to find an alternative to the uh, um, local unit government that the DNR demanded from us. Um, we also made a pitch to our legislators to allow them to lease it to the park, to Friends of Fort Ridgely. Um, they steadfastly refused. So we're, we're here asking for reconsideration. Um, I think most of you, all of you, should have gotten phone calls. We, uh, we met with most of the business community who are going to be the hardest hit by this closing and the subsequent decline in what we believe would be park attendance and use um, and people coming into the community from from outside to, to use the park and stop here in town. Um, we had very positive response from the business community. We actually had offers of three more, three more donations um, from, from people we met with yesterday. I don't want to say we, we feel we have done everything that was expected, asked of us, demanded of us. We compromised what we had to and um, wound up with a lease that, that is very workable. Um, we have resources, we have people, we have um, backing of our, of our legislative 
contingent not only from this Winville County but from Brown and Nicollet and, and beyond actually. And uh, we're, we're just starting. We, you know, we'd rather not be here. We'd rather that they leased it to us. But we we just we just can't make that case. And with the legislature being out of session, their their leverage is, is certainly diminished. So that that's our request. Obviously, a number of people. I don't know if anyone else here wants to speak. So um, that's that's why we're here. I'm hoping for Thank you. Or do you have any questions? So other cities that you've tried have said no? We spoke to Sleepy Eye. They, they were very interested. Um, unfortunately, they have issues. They're in the process of building a community center. Just took on to old reopen hotel that's in town. And they have a council issue, a, a legal issue. And they just felt that they couldn't, couldn't delve into anything else. So they're a no and the county was a no. I don't even know, uh, actually it was mainly the, the, the two primary uh, counties uh, okay. um, from the eastern end of Nicola County, the two that represent St. Peter and North Mankato were definitive no's and, and uh, we just weren't able to, to clear that hurdle either. And like I said, we, we tried diligently to, to get the DNR to, to lease it to us, even even on the short term, even though they offered us one last year that was totally unworkable. They apparently now when we have resources and the ability to run it, now that they aren't willing to listen to us or willing to grant us that opportunity. Um, but I think if if we had been able to go into winter um, and then searched out a a, a partner, I, I believe Sleepy I might might have been that partner. I think they put up their resolutions that are their problems are resolved, but um, that's speculation at, at most. Um, so this, that's where we're at. Um, any other questions? Okay, thank you. That's fine. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. Denise? Well, can I ask that the council, the member of all received the email I sent this afternoon? Excuse me, what did you say? He said, I was just curious if the council received the email I sent this afternoon. Yeah. I did, and I responded, yeah. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen it. I have copies of anybody did not receive it. Did you get the copy, get the copy I sent to you? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. So, again, do you have any comments from anybody here in regard to this? email I was not aware that this was going to be brought up tonight so I had approximately two hours to make a few phone calls and I called some businesses and I talked to some people who are on some other boards and I haven't gotten much change in the opinions that I've had before and I guess my opinion hasn't changed okay Josh? Yeah, my, I guess my opinion hasn't changed either. Me neither. I guess that's where we are then. Okay. You know, I mean, it's, it's, it's not easy making these decisions, and <coughs> I want to respect these guys for what they, what they, what they're hearing and what they're doing. So. Okay. And I just want to thank whoever was responsible for finally getting council people's phone numbers on the website. <laughs> It's hard to contact the council people when the phone numbers are nowhere to be found. <laughs> and Jenny, I did call you last night. Oh, okay. But you did not return the phone call. I, so I you didn't leave a message. I, didn't. I left a message. Yeah. There was no message on my phone. Well, I left it on somebody's phone. Okay. Somebody's well, I saw it. I saw there was a missed call, but yeah. when I went to play the re the message, there was nothing there. So I apologize for that. Okay. Then moving on to number ten. 
Confinement of easement for blanket easement granted in May 1939. Aaron. Yeah. That's yours. Yep. So this is, what's the project on in there, Marsha? Uh, Dollar General. Dollar General. So when they were purchasing the property, they had title work done and they discovered that there is this blanket easement. So it's an easement that doesn't specify where it is on the lot exactly. So it encumbers the entire lot and they don't like that. They want it to be limited to where the utilities are at, which is reasonable. So they were asking us to specify or where the easement area was at. It's, um, usually they'll say like, you know, a strip of land, certain 10 feet or 20 feet wide, and then it'll say where it runs. So we got our engineers to make a map and the legal descriptions of where the easements, there's actually four of them that we want to keep on there. So what we're doing is saying, all right, we're relinquishing our interest in this blanket easement and limiting to the certain areas. So that's described in here. That's, yeah, that's, that's the short version mm -hmm. of what you see in there. So we have the legal description of the, the entire lot that was transferred and then the, identifies this blank easement and then it identifies the four that we're just going to keep. So we just need a motion to approve the, yep. release, of these the release okay. and then mm -hmm. yeah. we'll send it over to the, the office that did the transaction and they can have it recorded and they'll be happy. Okay. Anyone have any other questions for Aaron? No. Okay. If not, then I need a motion to um, accept this conditional partial release of easement. I'll make a motion. Do I have a second? Yes. Second. Second. Hold on. Motion made by Rick, seconded by <coughs> who? Jenny. Jenny? Okay, that we um, approve this conditional partial release of the easement. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion's carried. Number 11 is our 2018 budget. First review. Does anyone have any questions in regard to that? Have anything they want added? Or this is just our, this is just the beginning of this. When do we have our meeting that we do just budget, Marsh? I can't remember. Whenever you want to schedule it. I don't have a schedule. Okay. We usually just have a meeting that we do just budget and go line item through. When did we do it last year? I can't remember. I think we did it in. The latter part of August, maybe. Okay, okay so if we, we have to have a proposed, you know, budget for our preliminary budget by September 15th. It might, it might be the 18th. I think it's extended just a couple of days. Okay. Year. How about if everyone has a chance to look at it? We already know that we're going to add. But, you know, we need to add in the trail. Um, and then how about if we make it a motion, or we make a meeting date at our next meeting? We don't have to have it done until, because we're already getting the end of July. Or do you want to pick a date tonight? What's the next council meeting? Um, eighth. It's August 8th. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to just try like, Twenty second of what? Twenty second of August. I'm pretty, pretty sure that won't work for me. No, I'll be at MMUA. How about fifteenth? I won't be here that night either. My August is really full. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> How about if we try a different night than Tuesday? The first, second, third, and sixteenth. I'm gone. Any other time will work for me. Okay. okay. I can do the 14th. Well, I will not be here. I'll be in taking Elizabeth to Pittsburgh. Or the 30th, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> Unless you want to do it on a Friday. <laughs> no. <laughs> or the 10th. I can do the 9th or 10th. <laughs> but that's right after the regular meeting. So. Well, that would be okay, though. Or the 24th. I can I do leave the on the 9th. Oh. And I get back to the 15th. I could meet. Oh, I don't know. How about the seventeenth? No, I'm moving my daughter to college that day. How about the? <laughs> how about the next week, like the twenty-third? 
I met him anyway, yeah. How long are you there? Well, we're staying <laughs> an extra day, so I won't be back till the 24th. I could possibly do the 24th unless my son comes home from Germany that day. I'm not coming here, so. <laughs> I'm gone on the 24th and the 25th. Super training. Yeah, I think we're probably going to just go into September. <coughs> September, I got lots of days. <laughs> you know what, you guys? Let's just go to yeah. September. Okay. How about if we let's pick a date tonight? Um, how about let's go away from Tuesdays? How about if we go to the sixth of September? It's Wednesday. I am open the sixth of September. Huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What day is that? It's a Wednesday. Wednesday's Wednesday the sixth. Josh. Mm -hmm. That should work. When, okay. Yeah. That's we're right doing after September sixth right? at seven o'clock budget meeting. Yep, that's the Wednesday that'll after Labor Day. Okay. That'll yep. work. What time are we doing that, boss? Seven, seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. Okay. Okay. Got a note of that. Um, should maybe have the street committee meet and decide your project for next year. I don't know. I right off the top of my head, I can't remember who's on the street. I'm you? on the line. Josh, are Am you? Am I still? Street? I don't remember. <laughs> I think it's maybe Rick and Josh. I think it I is. I don't go back and look. I should have made. <laughs> I think it is. Um. Should really uh, take a look at so we can get it lined up for the budget as soon yeah. as possible, probably. Yeah. You know, because I have to get engineer estimates to put mm -hmm. in the budget. I don't know how much you want to do. I would think next year that, well, next year I would think you'd want to bond for the project because this year you're not. You can't keep on taking out a reserve. Mm -hmm. So, what's the next proposed street? I don't know. Oh, oh, yeah, oh you guys have, have to, to decide. decide. Okay. You have to drive okay. around town and figure it out. Yeah. So I would think, you know, you don't have to just do one <laughs> block or you two blocks know. because <laughs> bonding issue is going to cost you some money. So how many so, blocks are you looking at when you're bonding now? Um, I guess it, it's up to you. Oh, okay. I, and the engineer estimates, you might want to, you know, have them figure out different segments, okay. you know, different blocks so you can pick and choose what yep. you want to do. Yep. based on what you want to spend. But um, I don't know, I mean, tough to get you guys together. When <laughs> when do you two, when can you two do a street <coughs> committee? I'll have to get the engineer involved. Because, um, and Joel, so what a... Any time, I like said August 1st, 2nd, 3rd, I'm up for Baxter and the 16th. Are you kind of open in August? If, if, if we wait until 7 o'clock in the evening, yeah. Yeah, that'll be fine. Yeah. So, like, um, first we could do it. There we know. How about that? Uh, how about the first? Would that uh, work? August 1st? I'm, I'll be up in Baxter. Oh, I thought you said 2nd and 3rd. Oh, oh, no, sorry. 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. How about, um, how about next week sometime? Okay, that'll be fine. Are you open, Josh? Next week. Yeah, do I do Tuesday evening? Yeah, that'd be fine. The 25th? Yeah, let's say 6.30. It's the earliest I could be. Okay. August 25th, 6.30. Street committee. Okay, I'll let Joel know. I'm not sure about the engineer being here, but he can put estimates together based on what you guys decide should be done. Okay. Okay, got our meetings all set. Okay, then moving on to 12, um, we need a motion to accept the tree shelter belt that Darlene's cell is giving us between 4th uh, and 6th Avenues. What? On that one, I'm working on it, but I haven't come to a conclusion yet. I think i got to figure out for sure if Oh, oh. So. Okay, we'll put that on the agenda for next month. Yeah, then. we could. Yeah. Good. And Darlene will still be here, won't she? So yeah. Yeah. She's not going to end up October. Okay. Then 13 is um, <coughs> under here. We need to accept Marsha's letter of retirement, effective 10 31 17. So, do I have a motion for that? Oh, she can't retire. Yeah. We well, don't that's kind of what I was thinking. If we don't <laughs> accept it, she's just gonna say at least for one more. I think <laughs> she's gone no matter what. <laughs> I have a feeling she's a goner. I'll make a motion to accept the retirement letter. I'll 
I'll second. Okay. Motion made by Josh, seconded by um, Jenny to accept your retirement with regrets. Yes, with regrets. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't sit over there and laugh so much because you're so excited. She can see the light and she's <laughs> running towards it. She's okay. pretty sure it's not a train. <laughs> <laughs> the light at the no, end of the No, it's not. <laughs> I think it's a cabin light. It's a big, <laughs> I think it's a big house light. <laughs> okay, so then along with that, we have the proposal from Larry Weirs here. It is Weirs, isn't it? I'm not sure. Okay, but that's his. Yeah. And, and he um, said, I, I emailed him last night just to make sure that price was still good. And, and he it's said still he good? would still honor that price. Okay. So. so then do I have a motion to, does anyone have any questions in regard to that? Yes, what, what is everyone's thoughts on it? I like the idea of hiring somebody to do that. Well, I personally want to, you didn't answer that. <laughs> I personally am not going to sit down and go through all kinds of applications. I don't have the qualifications. And I'm I would not, respect I'm you not step qualified to do that. <laughs> okay? Even if I have the time, and I, which I don't have, I'm not qualified to look at what we're trying to hire here. Right, no, and I we agree. We have big shoes to fill. But no, we are still involved in. Choose, right. Choose. What he'll do is whittle it down to like four or five candidates for us to interview. And I think with that, I think we, I don't know how you do it. But he does the background checks right. too. Um, and then they do stick with us for a year. If we get someone that doesn't, isn't a good fit, they will work with us. Mm -hmm. I don't know if someone's going to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah. this is not just pushed out many because all of us. Right. Right. Okay. I don't so. have a vote here, but I would. Yeah. Yeah. Um, other cities with the process, and they I can't remember who was this. I think this firm did. Uh, what was it, finance director? Yeah, I think I saw that in the. Anyway, they do a nice job. They put together packets. That we have. They, you'll be impressed, I think, with um, what they yes. present, and then you're going to be involved with. They'll come and set up the schedules. This is. They do a lot of the work for you. Leg so work that, and stuff. So that you right. can get down to the business of making the decisions. So I did ask him just on my own curiosity what his feeling was. Uh, Gaylord and Arlington are both looking for administrators currently too and what he thought that would maybe do to our pool of candidates. And he said there's a lot of turnover in administrators, but there seems to be a good group of people applying for them. So we'll see what happens. That's why we're hiring a firm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so then with that, we need a motion to accept the proposal. But he did say it would be a new timeline. We probably won't have someone in here before March of leave, so that is a four month process. So. Okay. But you should be well on your way out. Yeah, what do we do? We've got August and September. What do we do in the interim? Well, that's your call. <laughs> um, can he speed it up a little? It's August, September, and October. That's three months. I can ask him if he could possibly speed it up. I know Arlington just hired him, and it's a, they hired an interim administrator. But since it's just going to be for a month or two, I, I don't know. I can ask him if he can speed it up, but I don't know. Well, I did. I wasn't suggesting speeding it up as much as do you just appoint an interim, or what do you do, or. You could ask Chris if she'd be interested in doing it for a month, but she's all by herself, so I think that's a lot to ask of one staff person. Um, do you hire an interim for a month? It's possible the league has a list of people who do interim administrators work. Um, you know, well, let's just you know what? Let's just see how it goes. Let's see what happens. And cross the bridge when we get Let there. them advise us. Yeah. yeah right. Yeah. 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 Okay. Make it appetizing, the league. What? The leak page. The leak. I mean, people are always looking at that. Mm -hmm. They probably won't take an interim. Though. Maybe they have, they have a list of people who do interim. Just they're just interim administrators. That's what they travel around the cities and do that. So. Yeah. Okay. So, do I have a motion to accept Gary's proposal? So do I have a second? I'll second. Okay. Motion made by Josh. Second by Rick. That we. Um, Accept Gary, Gary Weir's proposal for recruitment. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Lips for that 16000 The same price as we at the beginning. All in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, aye. Opposed? Motion's carried. Do you want me to yes. contact him tomorrow and then ask him if he could, I mean, if we're not 
if we don't have someone in place by October 31st, what he suggests, yeah. how we handle that? Yeah. Okay. Yes. And then he needs to contact my if they need to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, then we're going to go to the city administrator's reports. Uh, the building permits are um, in your packet, the listing. Uh, the street project starting tomorrow, they're going to start milling the, the street on 2nd Avenue uh, tomorrow. Um, there's one other quote that was in front of you um, for striping the parking stalls in the business district. And the quote's for $4,700. I guess I... I missed that. I didn't know we were supposed to get a quote on that, but Joel got a quote for Okay, what is MOB on here? I do not know. <laughs> Where? Oh. It says MOB. price includes one MOB. And each MOB after is $350. Okay, so. Man on bike. Man, Man on bike. bike. <laughs> is that you? Man on bike is Ralph. Every time, I, every time I see one, it's three fifty. <laughs> yeah. oh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll okay. take that job. <laughs> okay, so it's twenty seven hundred bucks. Do they have templates to do that? Or? Oh, that's right. I don't know. I remember we talked about this. Long. I don't care about does that. They always whoever they get does a good job doing your stripe, but I never seen them ever do it, so. And when did they do it at night? They do? Yeah. yeah. We had a coals out of Hutchinson. This is Hutchinson. Huh? We can get coals to the service. But ours are done already. They just read the ones that we have. They come on. Yeah, they're, they're, they have to remeasure everything, and mm -hmm. it'll take more time. Okay, so what's your thought on it, guys? I think we should do this. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So you want to make a motion? You want me to? No, go ahead. Okay, I make a motion. We accept this bid for the lining of the fern and the striping of the garden. And who's, do we have a second? I will. Okay, motion by Ralph, second by Rick, that we do this, accept this contract for striping of the Parking spots for forty-seven hundred dollars. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Uh, opposed. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> it was the last minute decision. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Did you did you keep the vote against it? Keep voting against it. I don't think we need it. <laughs> okay. So Rick and Ralph and Jenny are yeses, and Josh is a no. <laughs> okay. Do you have anything else, Marsha? I'm just making sure I get this down right. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I no, I don't. Unless there's questions on the financial statement at all. No. Okay, and Joel isn't here, and Caitlin's not here, and Scott's not here. Scott's not here. <laughs> Nobody's here. <laughs> but we do Fair have enough. the reports in here as far as the number of. Um, or whatever you want to call it. And all of their, what the police department did. I guess that's all I can say. I don't, everything must be going smoothly because I haven't heard anything. Okay, <laughs> then the, there's a correspondence from the MPCA on the population vulnerability assessment. Yes, uh, MPCA was looking for communities and they called and asked if we would be interested. And I, after talking to them a little bit, um, I didn't think it would hurt anything, so I said, sure, why not? Then they, um, they, kind of, they go through and do an assessment of your community, your population, and find out where you're vulnerable, different That's areas. Great. So it's probably a good thing to know. And so that you can, uh, you know, maybe provide some services or something. Planning for the yeah. future. Yes. Okay. 
And then, I know Jim is here because he had a concern about the street down by his place, right, Jim? You know, I think it took care of itself. I talked to Danny, but in the meantime, they put all the barricades up. Oh, okay. So, you know, they, they black, am I correct? When they blacked 19, the semis were coming they down. They started coming through. Coming through, you know. Oh, oh. With, with blocking 19 down there. I don't know where they were trying to get, but they were coming around, you know, hammering the heck out of the road with, with his left of it. Okay, trying so it's okay. It. Okay, does anybody else have any concerns? No? I guess with that, then I need a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second? Second. Motion made by Jenny, second by Rick that we adjourn. All in favor say aye. Okay. Aye. aye. Opposed? Adjourn at 735. 735. It should be. Huh? Is that a record? No, no, it isn't. It's not. No, no, because it was one. I think you read it.